In this video, I'm going to show you how to add different page numbering throughout your brief. I'm using Mac Office 2011, but you can also use Mac Office 2008. How we want the page numbering to be is we don't want a page number on our cover page. We want sub-Roman numerals throughout our table of contents and table of authorities. And then starting with our statement of facts or statement of jurisdiction, we want regular page numbers. To accomplish this, the very first thing we must do is show all of the hidden characters. Section breaks, which is what we're going to use, are hidden, and so we need to be able to see them. If I scroll down to the bottom of my cover page, I already know that I don't want a page number here, but I do want page numbers to start on the table of contents. To accomplish breaking these up into two sections, I need to insert a next page section break. So at the top, I'm going to click Insert, Break, Next Page Section Break. If I double click here on the footer, I can tell that yes indeed the first page is section 1 and the remainder of the document is section 2. However, they're linked together. If I scroll to the very first page of section 2 at the footer, this same as previous tells me that this is still linked to the previous section. If I don't remove this, this will mess up my page numbering. To remove it, I'm simply going to click on the header and footer tool at the top and uncheck this link to previous and the same as previous link goes away. I need to repeat these steps so that I can break up section 2 and create the statement of facts or statement of jurisdiction to be se section 3. So I'm going to go to the bottom of my table of authorities, put my cursor, and insert my next section break. It usually does a few hard returns, but I simply delete them. I'll double click on the footer here to prove that yes, the previous section is 2 and the remainder of the document is 3. I want to unlink these sections, so I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my first page in section 3, click on the header and footer tool, and check the, uncheck the link to previous. Now that I have my document broken up into three sections that are no longer linked together, I can insert my page numbers. So I'm going to scroll up and click anywhere on my table of contents and click Insert, Page Numbers, Center, and I'm going to format them to be the sub-Roman numerals, starting with sub-I. And there it is. That should be numbering all throughout Section 2. Now I can click on Section 3 and insert page numbers for that section. And the format's already the way I want it. And there's my number. I'm going to hide the hidden characters, and I'm going to scroll up and scroll through my document to show my page numbering is correct. So here's my cover page with no numbering at all, my table of contents starting with sub-Roman numeral I, there's my two, three, and so forth, and then with statement of jurisdiction, there's page one, two, and so forth. I hope this helps.